Good morning, everybody. We are bumping our way up this mountain <laughs> right now. It's super foggy and the road is super rough. But the hope today is to flip some rocks and find some snakes. This is a new area I've never been to. It's definitely a little bit cool and wet right now, but it's supposed to warm up and hopefully the rain will stop and it'll just be nice and cool and overcast. absurd. I'm definitely not dressed for the weather today. <laughs> I was expecting it to be a little nicer than this, but and this is like a weird mixture of smoke and fog because this area has very recently been burned and you can see we're pretty much at the top of the mountain now. But we're going to be flipping rocks up here, looking for snakes today. Anything we can find will be cool, just because this is such a cool area. So we'll see what we get into. Well, our first find of the day, a very pretty little Webster salamander. Neon orange on this guy, way prettier than normal. Oh, there he goes, back under his rock. It's a little bit foggy. <laughs> this is so crazy. There's just, you cannot, I, I, who knows what's over there? I have no idea what's over there. There's just, you can't see more than 20 feet in front of us right here. You can see these power line wires. They just disappear into nothingness right there. My dad just flipped a big broadhead. Look at that. She is definitely not active right now, so we're not going to pull her out, but... It's a little cold right now. I'm not sure we're going to see any snakes today, but the environment is worth the trip. All right. Look at this rock. Well, apparently snakes are out today. Look at that. That giant rock had a pretty healthy little ringneck under it. That's a good sign. Snakes are under rocks, so I guess we'll keep flipping and hope for the best. There you go, dude. Well, that's number two got a hole right there I think this yeah well it definitely feels a little bit warmer but it's not any drier and uh, there's number three we're gonna be persistent and hope we can get something a little less common than ring necks but we'll see snakes are definitely out there you go buddy too bad that's closed off be cool to climb that and see nothing at the top because it's too foggy. I just flipped a new species for us this year. That right there is a Collins's Mountain Chorus Frog. Well, I took about one photo of that frog before it jumped, never to be seen again. But I will overlay it so you guys can see it a little bit better. There's millipedes everywhere right here. I don't know what's going on with these guys, but they're going crazy. But yeah, Collins's Mountain Chorus Frog is a pretty recently described species that was split off from the normal Mountain Chorus Frog, which is Sudacris brachyfauna. And they are kind of endemic to the more southern portion of the Mountain Chorus Frog's range, so. Kind of neat. We don't really get them in our immediate area, but we do get them really close by, like where we are today. Look at this guy just flipped. That is an eastern mole. That's so neat. Not sure this guy not hesitate to bite me if I gave him a chance. You can see his really cool little front feet there. What's up, dude? Alright, yeah, he was under this rock over here, so we'll put him back. has a couple pickerel frogs in it. Look at that guy. That's cool. 
Although it wasn't the most successful day, I did have a great time exploring this new area in Alabama with my dad. I definitely think we'll be able to come back here on a nicer day and find some cool snakes. After checking out the waterfalls, we decided to call it a day, and I got up early the next morning to get out with my buddy Thomas, who was in town for the weekend. All right, Thomas has our first snake of the day, a little ring neck. This was the only species we saw yesterday, so not gonna spend too much time with him, but we are on the board. And right past the ring neck, we have a brown snake. Look at that guy. Here's one we haven't seen too often this year. This is a little worm snake. Probably a Midwestern based on the scalation on his head, but really sharp looking snake either way and something that's going to be very common over the next few weeks, I'm sure. All right guys, here's our next snake of the day. We got a queen snake in the bush. Just chilling over this little creek, so we'll probably not mess with him, but very neat. These guys are freshly molted crayfish specialists, if you're not familiar with them, so. Oh, well, there he goes. Off to look for crayfish. All right, we got a double right here. We got it in big Midland water. And then a little baby queen snake right there. That's cool. All right, we got a little, little Nerodia party going on here. We got one there and then one over there. Lots of snakes out here by the water so far. Another one. That one's basking in a very nice exposed spot. So that last one was right there. And then <laughs> look at this dude. My camera won't even focus on him because he's so close to me. Look at this guy. It is full on Nerodia season out here. There's another one. All right, guys, so we hit this smaller creek, and oh, hello, relax. This guy was just foraging in the water, and I grabbed him real quick to show you since uh, we didn't bother any of those other guys since they were basking, but this guy was already out, so I'll let him go. Do you want a photo before I... Okay. Here you go, dude. Can you stop? I'm trying to put you down. What on earth, bro? <laughs> we found Thomas's white whale and one of his big targets for the day, the elusive red salamander. These guys are just not quite as everywhere where Thomas lives as they are here, so it's kind of a nice local treat while he's in the area. But this was one of the main things we wanted to see today, so you can check that off the list. All right, we got a nicer one. It's definitely a little bit more vibrant. All right, Thomas just spotted an in-the-trail red-bellied snake. Look at that guy. Very nice black phase. All right, little dude. Stay off the trail because apparently there are no rules when you're on the trail, but if you're off the trail, you're safe. Keep going. Good job, buddy. <laughs> Just out for a February stroll. Well, that's neat. Got a very cool looking garter snake in the trail. Two snakes in the trail in the last like 10 minutes. Look at this big girl. She's beautiful. Well, she was very quick to get very poopy, so we're just going to leave her to it, but very nice. Good-looking adult eastern garter is our next find. Keep moving. I see yeah, we got a ball of snakes right here. There's at least two Nerodia and a queen snake. You can see the, uh, the darker Nerodia in the front. There's a red Nerodia behind him and then the queen. So I was looking at these guys and my intuition struck and I just turned around and uh, crawling up that root ball into that tree was a king snake, our big target for the day that Thomas wanted to see. And uh, Thomas flipped a spotted salamander right beside the king snake. <laughs> it's going crazy right here in this little area. Thomas strikes again. <laughs> Another red. Incredible. This guy's got a little bit of a back half scuff going on, but that's definitely typical for this time of year. Otherwise, a very nice looking snake. That is a fantastic king. Definitely a good example for Thomas to have his first Georgia king snake. And that was exactly what we wanted to see today, and we got it. it took a while, but we got it.
That face is just absolutely gorgeous. Fantastic example. But we will let her go back into the tree she was climbing into. I don't know if he was basking or on the crawl, but when I saw him, he was going up into there. So we'll put him down right here and see what he does. There you go. I'm trying to, yeah. I'm trying to make sure you go back to where we were looking at you. Yeah, that's pretty much what I saw when I turned around right there. It's just that snake slowly starting to go back into the tree. Beautiful. Thomas just hiked a brown snake. You've you've now hiked the entire Steraria genus today, Thomas. How does it feel to be the Steraria master? Look at that guy. Looks like this is a racer. Yep. Very nice. How's it going, buddy? Go show this guy to Thomas and we'll let him go. That looks like another one. <laughs> sure is. Look at that. Look at these grumps. Two beautiful black racers basking right next to each other. This one is big. I thought that guy was a hog nose at first, but this one's a little more normal size, but both decent sized snakes. Both very unhappy I grabbed them, so we'll let them go. All right, dudes, I'll let you go. I got mom take them right up there and put them by that, by that rock. Here you go. You're free. That one got me. There's a little worm snake under a rock. Right here where these racers were. This has been a pretty good little area so far. Alright, that might potentially be our last snake of the day. Another nice big Midland water snake right next to the creek. All right, everybody. Well, I'm back home, and it has been a pretty fantastic day. We saw so many snakes today, I lost count. I mean, probably at least 15 Nerodia, a king, a couple racers, lots of fossil reel stuff. But yeah, fantastic day all around. I had a blast, and I'm um, looking forward to doing it again tomorrow. So I'm going to wrap this episode up here. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.